Welcome to EPG Patshala. This is Dr. Anku Shambhardar from Department of Tourism and Hotel Management, Kurukshetra University, Kurukshetra. Today, I'll be taking up a topic of tourism and hospitality that is front office operations and management. And the module is classification of hotels. Well, in this unit, we'll be learning various types of hotels, the concept of classification of hotels, and different facilities and services according to the type of hotel. Hotel classification is the ranking of hotels on the basis of criteria, usually by using nomenclature such as star categorization, such as one star denoting basic facilities and standards of facilities, and five stars denoting luxurious facilities and standard of services. The aim to inform prospecting guests in advance on what we can be expected in order to reduce the gap between expectation and experience after conception of facilities and services. The type of hotel is determined primarily by the size and location, target market, service standard, amenities, so on and so forth. It offers ownership structure. Hotel classification serves the following purposes. It lends uniformity in services and sets general standards of a hotel and this make easy to set to expected standards from the property. It makes to build an idea regarding the range and type of hotels available within a geographical location. It acts as a measure of control over hotels with respect to the quality of services offered in each category. It helps tourists select a hotel that meets their requirements. In this chapter, we'll be identifying the types of accommodation as on basis of various factors. Classification on the basis of location, size, clientele, range of service, length of stay, star categorization, management, and affiliation, ownership structure, and plans offered. First, we'll talk about classification of hotels on the basis of location. On the basis of location, hotels can be classified as, number one, downtown hotel, or even known as city hotel. These hotels are located in the heart of city, within a short distance from business centers, shopping arcades, rates are nominal, high due to their location advantages. These hotels mostly cater to business men, groups, free individual travelers, conferences, seminar groups, etc. They provide a wide range of services and facilities to guests like business centers, restaurants, airport pickup and drop. They have high traffic on weekdays and the occupancy is generally high. Example of such a hotel is the Park Hotel New Delhi or Intercontinental New Delhi. Second is motels. The term motel has been derived from word motor. They are located primarily on highways. They provide lodging to highway travelers and also provide ample parking space to the consumers. The length of stay is usually overnight. These hotels are generally small in terms of number of rooms. Example of such a hotel is Hotel Ashok Jammu. Another hotel is Suburban Hotel. As the name suggests, these hotels are located in the suburban areas, that is, on the outskirts of the cities and towns. These types of hotels cater to business groups for the purpose of conferences, seminars, and even a trend of marriages, parties in such peaceful and calm environments. Away from cities, they even provide a wide range of equipments for conferences, seminars. In this type of hotel, rates are moderately low. Example, Sunshine in Mumbai. Another type of hotel 
is airport hotel. These hotels are located in the near to international or domestic airports. They have transit guests who stay over between flights and airline crew members. They may stay for a short duration which would be one or two days. These hotels provide similar facilities, services and amenities like any other hotel. Example is Radisson, New Delhi. Another type of hotel is resort. Resort hotels are those hotels which are generally located at the scenic places such as hill stations, beaches, deserts, etc. They cater travelers who want to relax, come for leisure purposes and refresh themselves. They provide all needed facilities to the travelers like accommodation, food and beverage service, valet service, uniformed services, etc. These establishments provide various recreational facilities like tennis courts, skiing grounds, amusement parks, golf courses, etc. Most resorts work to full capacity during peak seasons. Sales and revenue fluctuate from season to season. Example of such a hotel is Holiday Inn Manali and Anandas in the Himalayas, Rishikesh. Another hotel is Floating Hotels. As the name implies, these hotels are establishments on luxury liners or ships. These are generally located on river, sea or oceans. In cruise ships, rooms are generally small and all furniture is fixed down. It generally caters to long stay guests. It is a complete hotel in itself, consisting of all facilities as provided by any hotel on land. It not only provides accommodation, but other necessary facilities and services like food and beverage, recreational facilities, swimming pools, so on and so forth. Example is AB Celestial Mumbai, first floating hotel. Another type category of hotel is Botels. A houseboat hotel is referred as Botels. The houseboats of Kashmir and Katuvalam of Kerala are houseboats in India, which offers luxurious accommodation to travelers. Besides that, other necessary facilities are taken care of such as food and beverage, etc. Next is Rotels. These novel variants are hotels on wheels. Our very own Palace on Wheels and Deccan Odyssey are trains providing a luxurious hotel atmosphere. Their interior is done like hotel room. They are normally used by small group of travelers. They are costly and hence cater to elite guests, providing with an elaborate menu and other services to the occupants. Next classification of hotels is on the basis of size. Hotels are classified on the basis of total number of rooms a hotel is offering. Four types of hotels fall in this category. Number one, small hotels. These are hotels with less than 25 rooms and are termed as small hotels. Example, Beach Street Hotel, Goa. Next is medium size hotel. These are the hotels with 25 to 100 rooms. An example of such a hotel is Heritage Village Club, Goa. Another category of hotel is large hotels. These are hotels with 100 to 300 rooms. Example, Taj Exotica, Goa. Another category is mega hotels. These are the hotels having more than 1,000 rooms. Example, First World Hotel at Malaysia Genting Highlands with 7,351 rooms. There is no mega hotel in India as on today. Wide range of mega hotels are at Las Vegas, USA. Next classification of hotels could be done on the basis of clientele. Number one, commercial hotels. 
These hotels are generally located in the heart of city within a short distance from business center. Shopping arcade rates are normally high due to their location advantage. These hotels mostly cater to businessmen, groups, free individual travelers, conference, seminar groups, etc. They provide a wide range of services and facilities to guests like business centers, restaurants, airport pickups and drop. They have high traffic on weekdays and the occupancy is generally high. These hotels may even be called as downtown hotels or city center hotels. Example of such a hotel is the Leela Palace, New Delhi. Next type of hotel under this classification is convention hotel. These are very large hotels having large convention complex to cater people attending a convention. Conference. Convention hotels may have more than 1,000 rooms. They offer various business services to the guests right from internet, laptops, fax, machines, photocopiers, etc. The other services like food and beverage, transportation, convention, equipments and so on are provided to the guests. Example, ITC, Kakatilia, Hyderabad. Next is resorts. It also falls under this category and has been discussed above. Next hotel is sweet hotels. As the name suggests, these hotels may have all or maximum rooms as suites. They offer rooms that may include compact kitchenette. They cater to people who are relocating, act as like lawyers, executive film personalities, politicians who are away from home for a long business stay. The suite hotel rooms provide bedroom, dining and sitting room to maintain the privacy of the guest and give a real feeling of home away from home. The hotel providers provide various types of facilities and services to the guests. Example, the Leela Palace, Udaipur. Next type of hotel in this category is casino hotels. These are hotels with predominantly gambling facilities comes under this category. They have guest rooms and food and operations too. These hotels tend to cater leisure and vacation travelers. Gambling activities at some casino hotels operate 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. Las Vegas in the United States is famous, famous for casino hotels. The guests may be attracted through organizing theme parties and shows to generate huge profits. Besides the gambling facilities, these hotels provide luxury guest rooms and elaborate services and facilities to their in-house guests. Example, CGH Earth Hotels, Kochi. Next classification could be done on the basis of range of services provided to the guest. Based on facilities and amenities provided by a hotel, they are generally classified into five main types. Number one, economy or limited service hotels. These hotels cater to budget travelers and hence may even be termed as budget hotels. These types of hotels provide efficient, clean, private rooms with attached bath. The furnishing and decor are moderate. Initially, these hotels did not have telephones or television in the rooms, but now most of them have it. Food and beverage service may not be available or may be limited and bell attendance, door attendance and concierge facilities may be absent. To maintain these economy hotels, they are located on inexpensive real estate areas 
and constructed at relatively low cost. Second is mid-market hotels. The modern mid-market hotels is a descendant of the first commercial hotel offering comfortable accommodation with private baths, on-premises food and beverage services, and uniform bell staff. These hotels, also called standard or tourist class hotels, offer above average luxury and comfort, professionally designed decor, and may also have scenic views or advantageous locations. The tariff and the facilities of these hotels are obviously more than the economy class hotels. Next category is all suite hotels. The all suite hotel was invented to compete with first class hotels by offering above average facilities at mid market rates. A typical all suite hotel offers separate sleeping and living areas along with other benefits like a kitchenette and a stock bar. Generally, all rooms or majority of rooms may be suites. Some hotels offer food and beverage service and employ bell staff. Another category is first class or executive hotels. A typical first class hotels are luxurious or semi-luxurious with exceptional comfort and decor, highly trained staff and above average food and beverages. These hotels are also referred to as executive or superior hotels, often having luxury suites, two or more dining rooms, and a cocktail lounge. Many accommodation have excellent views, refrigerators, and fully stocked bars. Other services like housekeeping, uniform services, transportation, etc., are offered to the guests of the hotel. Next category of hotel is luxury or deluxe hotels. These hotels represent the highest standard of excellence in the level of luxury and comfort, cleanliness and efficiency of staff. The specialization of staff even is extended. Competence and courteous. Diversity and quality of food and beverage service. They generally cater to the elite clients like politicians, filmmakers, writers, sports, personalities, etc. Another classification of hotels could be done on the basis of length of stay. We may classify such hotels in five categories like number one, residential hotels. These hotels are also called as apartment hotels or apartment house. Rooms in a residential hotel is sold on a monthly or yearly basis. Rooms may be furnished or unfurnished, single or suite. Almost all residential hotels have a restaurant. They may offer telephone services, laundry, and valet services. Advanced rents are usually collected while other charges are built weekly. These types of hotels normally operate on European plan. Next is semi-residential hotels. These hotels provide accommodation to guests on weekly or monthly basis like residential hotels as well as on per day basis like transit hotels. Reduced rates are provided to long staying guests in such hotels. Transit guests who want to take advantage of reduced rates for longer stay also come to such establishments. Next is transit or transit hotels. Hotel guests who fall under the category of transit guests are those who are en route guests, that is, who are in the process of moving from one destination to another and stop at the hotel for a short period of time as against a terminal guest who has reached his final destination. Hence, hotels which cater to a transit or transit guest are called transit hotels. 
examples of transit hotels are motels or motor hotels, airport hotels, etc. Next classification of hotels could be done on the basis of star categorization. On the basis of star categorization, it is one of the important elements of tourism hotel criteria and procedure adopted and plays an important role to contribute in the overall tourism experience through the standards of facilities and services offered by them. To provide contemporary standards of facilities and services available in the hotels, the Ministry of Tourism has formulated a voluntary scheme for classification of operational hotels, which will be applicable to the following categories, such as heritage hotels, five-star deluxe properties, five-star hotels, four-star hotels, three-star hotels, two-star hotels, and one-star hotels. The next classification of hotels could be done on the basis of management and affiliation. Various types of hotels on the basis of affiliation are independent and chain hotels. When it comes to independent hotel, these hotels are owned by an individual or a group and are based on the fact that they do not have any affiliation or contract through any other property. Their advantage is that they do not need to maintain any type of image and can adapt to quickly changing standards. Management contract hotels. Example, Hotel Bristol, Gurgaon. Another is chain hotels. These hotels are affiliated to one another and may be owned or affiliated with other property. All such properties are competitively stronger edge than the independent hotels as these hotels enjoy the benefit of marketing, being a part of brand which is promoted. Even the management information system, national purchasing contracts, standards of services, facilities and amenities provided and the architectural design may be found to be same as of other. Various hotels classified on the basis of management are franchised hotels and management contracted hotels and even referral groups. Now understanding the franchising, the concept of franchising was developed in 1960 in USA. It is a system in which the franchisee owner grants another the privilege to use his name and also assists him with management in exchange for a franchising fee. The hotel company called Franchiser agrees to grant the right to franchise to conduct the business according to the standards of established by the company. The most successful franchiser is the Holiday Inn Company. Franchising must be looked at a two-way benefit scheme. Franchiser provides certain services and provides certain rights to the franchisee. Next is management contracted hotels. It is an agreement between investors or owners of a hotel project and a hotel management company hired for coordinating and overseeing a contract. It spells out the condition and duration of the agreement and the method of computing management fees. The hotel management company hired needs to have a fair knowledge about the management of hotel to run the administrative and the operational aspects related to the hotel property. Generally, the hotel management company gets a commission called management fee, which, which is almost 1% to 8% of the total revenue 
generated by the hotel. Further, some more incentives may be given to the company of the net profit generated. One of the major benefits of the management contract is that the total control of the standards and quality of each such property remains with the management company. Next is referral groups. The concept of referral groups even was originated from America by the independent hotel operators in order to compete with the chain hotels. The basic purpose of coming together to form a group is for achieving common objectives, basically being sales of rooms. These are certainly various advantages to be a part of such group. Some common benefits like sales promotion, marketing strategies, and the references of business from one property to another. Such groups can give a tough competition to the chain properties and make them able to generate a brand image in the market. The other major advantage is of referring business to the members of the group. Next classification of hotels could be done on the basis of ownership. On its basis, number one is condominium hotels. A condo hotel or a condo hotel is a property used as both a condominium and a hotel. Condo hotels are generally apartment buildings developed and operated as luxury hotels, usually in major cities and resorts. These hotels have condominium units which allow someone to own a full service vacation home. When they are not using this home, they can leverage the marketing and management done by the hotel chain to rent and manage the condo unit. Condo tills tend to be costly than timeshares, but gives more than your money through its services and facilities. Example is Tosikeni Terrace Narela. Another type is timeshare hotels or resorts. The concept of timeshare hotels was introduced in Europe. In this concept, the individual guest will purchase the ownership of a particular unit of a resort for a definite period of the year. Thus, the same unit or cottage is shared by multiple owners over the year. In this concept, a guest chooses a specific location for a specific time, generally week or so for vacations every year. The average timeshare has a community pool and some common areas. Timeshares are generally sold fully furnished. Example, Club Mahindra at various locations in India and abroad. Another uh, classification of hotels could be done on the basis of plan. That is the tariff pattern. First is European plan. It is a plan where only the lodging, that is bed, is offered. Thus, the charges are made for lodging facilities only. The guest is free to take or not to take tea, breakfast, and meals in the hotel. Another is continental plan. In this case of continental plan, bed and breakfast are included in the tariff charges. Thus, bed is offered along with breakfast, and the guest is, however, free to take his meal and tea as he likes. Thus, the guest tariff includes lodging and bed and breakfast, and for other, he is separately built. Another plan is American plan. Hotels where American plan is prevalent, boarding and lodging is provided in the charge. The tariff fixed includes board and lodging. It is an all-inclusive full board tariff. Accommodation and three meals daily are included in the price of the room. Next plan is modified American plan. The tourists mostly prefer this plan as it is most flexible. It is offered in most of the hotels all around the globe and is normally by arrangement. It includes hotel accommodation, breakfast, and either lunch or dinner, or a combination of them. 
in the price of the room. Now to summarize the chapter, on the basis of clients' needs, the organized sector of hotel industry has created variety of hotels to meet the same of guests. The category falls between luxury hotels to small properties trying to give their best to the residents of such rooms or units or apartments or condos. It even becomes the duty of the hotel operators as well as the travel planners to identify the needs of the guests such as location, facilities, services that are provided them with such accommodation. As above, we have seen now the hotels can be classified into various categories like on the basis of ownership, location, star, size, management, etc. Furthermore, the unit described how each category or type is different from other, keeping in view the tariff, services, facilities and amenities provided by them. Thank you for watching EPG Patshala. This was Dr. Ankush Ambarda from Kurukshetra University.